sorry. So the palpation of lumbar spine or spinous process of the lumbar region. So first of all, again, I start with the position. The patient or subject should be in prone line and <coughs> just underneath the abdomen, there should be padding. So you can provide the padding with the help of pillow or a towel. So first, you have to identify the most easy landmark that is you will find all the your waist limb that is basically the most superior point of the iliac crest. So how to identify? Basically it is the example of bony edges. So again you can place your hand over the lateral side of the abdomen and slide it down. By sliding it the supply dental pressure and ultimately the finger pad will strike over the bony edges of the iliac crest. So I have already marked here the same procedure will repeat another side. So it is also marked. So these are the two points and basically it is correspond to the most superior point of the iliac crest. Next here again two bony landmark is already marked. Basically, it is the location of PSIs. How to identify? Again, you can observe here a shallow depression is found. Both sides, it is little bit depressed area. So basically, this dimple or indentation is found just above the a PSIs. So first of all, you have to slide your thumb pad, the lower margin of this depression and from here, you have to again place your thumb pad like this, slide it down and obliquely or lateral like this. So it is a striking again or a bony projection that is basically your PSIS. So again I have marked both sides. This is the location of PSIS. As for the literature, basically these two points, the most superior point of the iliac crest, when we connect with a line, it intersects by spine or it passes at the lower margin of the anthony. If your subject is a male, then it passes through the lower margin of anthony. If the subject is female, then it will pass through the L4 spinous process. What is the reason? It all has, I have already discussed in theory. Next is location of PSIS. It is again already marked. These two point is connected with a straight line and this line will intersect the sacrum at the S2 spinous process. So again I have marked this location of S2. If you want to identify just apply little pressure in this subject it is very easy to identify. It is a bony projection which is coming out. So this is the location of S2 spinous process. Just one or in some of the subject half centimeter above from this location you can identify another bony landmark. So it is again it is marked. This is the location of your S1. But most of the subject it is very difficult to identify because the, it is the location where the lumbar and sacrum it is the junction between the lumbar spine and sacrum. So there is inclination or incline it articulate the sacrum articulate with the lumbar spine in an inclined way. So this area is filled with lots of soft tissue like your ligament, muscles and other soft tissue. Okay. So in some of the subject it is very difficult to identify even though in the subject I have marked. It is easy. 
from here again you have to measure one finger width from this location to in superior direction and identify another bony projection so this is the junction between the sacrum and it is the location of the lower margin of L5 so again I have marked or you can feel it just observe the movement of the finger I am striking over a bony projection further you can repeat this method and identify the location of L4 further slide it in upward direction again you can identify the L3 the location of L3 spinous process again slide it in upward direction you can identify the L2 you further slide it in upward direction and you can identify L1 basically by connecting these two points the most superior point of the iliac crest it should pass through the lower margin of the L3 but there may be some abnormality postural abnormality or there may be the chances of shifting of the pelvis anteriorly or laterally in any direction so it is not passing through the the location of L3 is little bit higher so this is the next method to identify directly L5 on the basis of the most superior point of the iliac crest and PSIS what is that procedure basically this is called the lumbosacral cross first of all we have to mark all these four landmarks means the most superior point of the iliac crest both sides and then the PSIS both sides and then this landmark is connected in a cross manner means the right most superior point of the iliac crest is connected to the left PSIS and left most superior point of the iliac crest is connected to the right side of the PSIS so these two lines is crossing each other over here and already it is marked which is the location of your L5 so through this method we can identify the location of L5 but this method we are also finding the location of L5 over here and basically this location is marked on the basis of identification of S2 means this is the most reliable method and by crossing this means we can counter check with these two procedures so the location of L5 is by both procedures is same